Good morning. Let's have a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for another day to hear thy voice, another day to be guided and prompted by thee. No matter what our situation, we're so grateful that we can always listen to thy promptings. Help us to learn how we hear thee. Help us to pay attention and be able to follow thee and thy promptings more and be closer to thee as we do it. Whether it's a person to phone or cookies to make and take to someone or something we forgot or something that we hadn't thought of doing or being prompted to apologize or make things right or go somewhere. Heavenly Father, there's so many people that are alone. So many choose not to have children and choose not to get married. And so the world is full of people that are alone with no families and they're lonely, perhaps, or they have their pets. We ask thee a special blessing on them that they may come closer to thee and that they may feel thy presence with them and that they may be prompted and not feel lonely. It's so nice that thou art there, that we can always talk to thee in our heads. So nice that thou dost listen and hear us. And I know there's been times in my life when I didn't know that thou were there, or that thou were listening, but I know that thou art. I know that thou hears and understands and has compassion on us. Thou knows the trials that we go through and the temptations. We're grateful for the Savior's example and his the things that we have learned that don't bring us happiness. Please help us to focus on the things that we've learned that do bring us happiness. Help us to focus on the good. There's so much bad around us, but help us not to focus on that. Help us to focus on the, the bad will always be on the earth, thou hast said. We ask that thou will help us to think positive thoughts and to have hope in thee, the knowledge that everything will be okay. In the end, everything works out. Even though the things that we go through cause us to die. Please help us to know that Thou art, Thou art bigger than death. Thou hast overcome death, and that we live again after we die. And we don't really stop living. We just change venue. It's such a wonderful comfort to know, especially when so many are being killed throughout the earth, and to know that they just pass to the other side and then they are without all that crap and that they feel thy love. So many have gone over and come back and said how much love there is on the other side. We ask that thou would bless us that we can keep our thoughts on thee and think celestial thoughts, think thoughts about the beauties of eternity. I'm so grateful to know that thou hast prepared a mansion for everyone and if it were not so he would have told us it's good to know that if there's something that I want that I can't ever have in this life or a place I'd like to go or good things that in the next life it will be mine and that I will be able to do all those things and enjoy those things And at this Christmas season, we're so grateful for the Savior and what he has done, how thou sent him to earth, and for his sacrifice in the Garden of Gethsemane for our sins, and how he overcame sin, so that Satan can't have us from for doing all the bad things that we do in life. We're grateful that we can be free of all that. We're grateful that the resurrection has been, has been, that 
he has, he has overcome death, that all of us will be resurrected. We're grateful that we have bodies and that they will be resurrected just as his was. We're grateful for the knowledge of these things. We're grateful for continuing revelation and for the restoration of the gospel. We're grateful for scriptures. We're grateful for great, great um, exemplars who have come to the earth and taught us the better way. A way of love and peace and charity and hope. And we ask that we too may be as angels on the earth and help others and do thy will and be thy hands here. And this day we ask that thou bless us with health and strength and happiness and that we can reach out to others and not think about ourselves. Thinking about ourselves just makes us miserable. We're so grateful for the knowledge on the earth we're grateful for so many medical advances that extend our lives and help us to have happy lives. In these things we pray now and ask you for the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm. Mm. I love God. I love my Heavenly Father. I love Jesus Christ. No matter how bad it gets, I can always reach out and hold his hand. He's always there. I'm grateful that as I read the scriptures, I can be prompted about those things that he has taught. Those really good, wise things he has taught about living. And I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful that you guys comment and that you communicate with me mm. and I love saying prayers with you it's good for me because sometimes I might not take the time to say a good prayer but if I know that someone out there might need it it's a good thing you know it it's a good thing to do for others you know when I think of others I'm happier I'm sorry that people out there are lonely. I know sometimes I'm lonely with the my family, everybody being on their devices. It's okay if I'm on a device, but if I don't feel like it, then I'm alone. In spite of many people around. And there must be so much more of that as people are glued to their phones and so tied up in what's going on in the world. There's so much crap. <coughs> and falseness, lots of lies out there. It's difficult, you know, you really have to stay close to the spirit and remember that love is the answer. And if it doesn't include love, it's probably not the right answer. And if it includes breaking rules, it's probably not the answer. Anyway, I love you guys. Have a great day. It's gonna snow here. We already have a bit of snow. Not much. Just a little dusting. Which is kind of nice, except today it's gonna go up to zero. Which means it's gonna melt. And then it'll be ice. <sighs> ice is not my friend. Ice is nobody's friend, really. But ashes, if you have ashes in your fireplace, Scatter ashes. Don't burn your place down, but scatter cold ashes on the snow. Well, even hot ashes on the snow will put the ashes out. But it, it will, um, it, it gives you traction. It, it takes them in your car. Take a candle in your car and matches and a blanket. Because you never know in the winter where you're going to get stuck. But if you have ashes and you put them under your wheels, it makes traction. It's perfect. Okay, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go play Minecraft. My morning ritual before it's warm enough outside to go for a walk. Bye-bye.